we'll have to take a break. Uh, we will have Shivinder Singh on the other side as well. Now I'm going to start putting people uh, into a spot by asking them, give me your wish list of ministers, uh, whether it's commerce, wish list of home minister, foreign minister and most important finance minister. But one man who has influenced good governance in Bihar, given that Nitish Kumar has swept Bihar, Good governance, good politics, good economics. An example of that is N.K. Singh. One just wished he played a more uh, bigger role in the centre as well. But here's N.K. Singh's view as to what worked and what didn't in this election. The Congress has articulated its uh, economic policy in the Congress manifesto. And one would want to see a very truthful implementation of that economic manifesto, which is reasonably broad-based and is designed to really kick back the economy to uh, the growth trajectory of about 8 9%. And the Prime Minister has already announced that in the first 100 days in his office, he'd like to really see a further stimulus package based on a review of what the existing stimulus package have done to the economy. Regardless of what's happening with the global scenario right now, which is perhaps not in the Prime Minister's control anyway, uh, let's talk about also the fact that can we expect a greater speed up on privatization or FDI specific to certain sectors like retail? Well, I would imagine that uh, the Congress would want to tread that ground uh, carefully, notwithstanding the much larger mandate which it has received, and as you rightly say, not having the handicap of the left. I would expect really faster movement on the deregulation of the financial and the uh, banking sector. The insurance issue has been, as you know, pending in Parliament for a very long time. In fact, a bill to really amend the Insurance Act was introduced in the last days of the Raj Sabha by the by the UPA government, and one would expect a faster movement on the financial banking sector based on the Raghu Ram Rajan recommendations and some of the other committees which have really suggested a further deregulation in many sectors to really get the economic momentum forward. At the same time, mindful of the global recession, to try and see what kind of an improvement in surveillance standards in the organizations which are designed for a better monitoring of the likely consequences of market excesses can be really put in place so that we get the growth momentum back, but we are able to minimize the kind of distortions which had affected the global economy, whose consequences the Indian economy also faced. I also expect faster movement on what can be done to diversify the destination and the product to revive our export momentum, which has not only slackened, but it has huge consequences in terms of creating unemployment pressure.